First, we begin with COVID vaccines for communities hard hit by the virus. Good evening, I'm Brian Hackney. I'm Juliette Goodrich, taking a live look now at several Bay Area cities where state public health officials are vowing to boost vaccine shipments to low-income neighborhoods. It could be happening in just a matter of days, but as KPIX5's Kenny Joy explains, only a small fraction of the Bay Area is getting priority. 40% of the supply will go to zip codes the state has designated as most in need. In the Bay Area, only about 2% of the zip codes qualify for that increase. The extra push to get more shots into the arms of the most vulnerable is ramping up. So many people cannot travel to get the shot. And I'm formerly from San Francisco, and there's so many in, in the outer areas that, that just can't get it. So coming into the neighborhoods is really, really important. This mobile vaccination site in South Hayward is part of a federal program reaching underserved communities, inoculating nearly 1,000 in two days. Meanwhile, the state has designated more than 400 zip codes that will receive extra doses of vaccine. Household income, access to health care, and education level are among some of the metrics used. I'm happy that the they're coming to us and not just having us go to the hospital. Only 10 Bay Area zip codes qualify for the state's reallocation effort. They include parts of Vallejo, Fairfield, Richmond, San Francisco's Tenderloin District, and parts of Oakland. Uh, but we also need to go to communities, especially uh, minority communities that have historically been uh, ignored or have had uh, rightfully their own concerns about uh, vaccines. The State Department of Health says the 40% increase will translate to hard hit neighborhoods administering twice the current number of vaccines. So far, data shows only 17% of doses have gone to these communities. When our government will come to where we are, it makes all the difference in the world. State officials say targeting hard hit areas will ultimately help counties move into less restrictive tiers in the process. Kenny Choi, KPIX 5.